Hello, so welcome as we solve this maths problem within the shortest time possible. So let's start with the solution. So on our solution, this one is the maths problem that you want to solve. So we have k to the power of 4, then also minus 4 to the power of k should be equals to 17. So here now we can, we can rewrite it by having k to the power of 4 can also be written as k now to the power of 2 then into bracket to the power of 2 again so then minus 4 to the power of k can also be written as 2 to the power of 2 then to the bracket to k to the power of again k is equals to 17 so the next thing is now let's rewrite it by now having k to the power of 2 then into bracket 2 then minus so we shall bring the k inside the bracket so now we shall have 2 to the power of k then into bracket we shall have 2 which is equals to 17 so our next step now is now we shall now say that let so let k to the power of 2 be be p and uh, also and uh, also uh, that is 2 to the power of k 2 to the power of k let be it, it be equals to the, the q so in this case we shall now have an equation where now we shall now have p p to the p square that is p to the power of 2 minus here now we shall have q q square dot q to the power of 2 is equals to 17 so that is the new question that now we shall have so we know that suppose we have a a squared minus b squared so this one shall now give us a plus b then into bracket and also a minus b into bracket now this 17 can also be written as so when we have 17 you can also have 17 multiplied by 1 shall give us 17 so let's also put that one in mind so in this case now we shall rewrite the all of it but now we shall now start with p p plus because p, p squared minus q squared represents a squared minus b squared so in this case now a and b is represented by p and q so now we shall now have p plus q which now it shall is equals to so we shall pick any one of these we shall pick 17 which is equals to 17 so that term now shall be our first equation so now our second equation we shall now have p minus q which now shall be equals to shall be equals to one. So that now shall be our our second equation. So from there now we can work the equations out by subtracting. So now shall having we shall now have 17 subtract from one shall give us 16. Then is equals to so plus q minus minus q we shall now have two two q. So from there now we shall now solve the value of q by dividing both sides now by by 2 here now by 2 so now our value for q in this side now we shall now say that our q is equals to 2 by here once 2 by 16 is 8 so now our q the value of q is 8 so in that case now what now shall be our value for our value for p so here let us now work the value for p so our value for p we shall now pick the first the, the second equation now we shall now have p minus q is equals to 1 already we know the value for q is 8 so now we shall now have p minus 8 is equals to 1 so now our p in this case shall be so p is equals to so 1 then minus 8 when you cross the cosine shall be now plus 8 so now our p in this case shall be shall be 9 so already now we have the value of p and now we shall we know the value for q so let's recall whatever we had initially whereby we said that let here so let let uh, k to the power of 2 be p let k to the power of 2 be p so so he so we here now we had something like that so let k to the power of 2 be is equals to p so in this case now we know what p is so let k to the power of 2 be p so k to the power of 2 here k to the power of 2 is equals to p and the p we've, we've got as the value of so p in this case 
so p is equals to 9 so instead of writing p now we shall indicate the value for 9 so now we shall now have k squared is equals to is equals to 9 so for us to find the value for 9 all of them shall have the the square roots of the both numbers so we shall square uh, this one and also we shall square 9 so the square root of k squared now shall have k is equals to the square root of 9 the answer now shall be shall be 3 so let us also try with the other number whereby we had say that let the value of this other one for the for the q so what about q we say that uh -huh, and uh, 2 to the power of k is equals to q so 2 to the power of k is equals to q 2 to the power of k is equals to q and what's the value of q so we've got the value of q as uh, as as 8 so the value for q is 8 so instead of writing uh, q we now we shall now have to write 8 so 2 to the power of k now shall be now is equals to is equals to 8 so 2 to the power of k so we can uh, simplify this 8 by writing it into an index form so it, it shall be now 8 is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4 then 4 multiplied by 2 it is 8 so it is 2 to the power of to the power of 3 so now we shall now omit the basis that is the 2 now we shall now say that our value for k in this case is equals to 3 so that is equals to answer so our 3 the k is equals to 3 so now we can confirm our answer by now bringing the equation that we had earlier so our earlier equation is k to the power 4 so k to the power 4 then minus 4 to the power of k is equals to 17 so what is now we let's write if our correct answer shall be 17 so we've got the value for k as 3 so here now we shall have now instead of writing k we shall now have 3 to the power 4 then minus 4 now here instead of writing k to the power of 3 is equals to 17 so here now we shall work out the value of 3 to the power 4 that is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 so 3 multiplied by 3 is 9 then multiplied by by 9 again and our answer is now is 81 so now this one shall give us 81 then minus 4 to the power of 3 that is 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4 so 4 multiplied by 4 is 16 then 16 multiplied by 4 again which is this one we shall now have our answer there as as 64 so now we shall now have 81 minus 64 should give us 17 so let's confirm if it is really true so 81 minus 64 we shall now have 17 now is equals to 17 so meaning that we are now right we now we conclude by saying that our value for k is equals to is equals to 3 so if you really enjoyed how we worked out this maths problem please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe if if you have not subscribed to the, our channel so let's stop there and see you in our next video